Okay, first graders, we are going to continue with the workbook for the story Something Sweet. So if you'd like to go ahead and solve the questions on your own, you can do that. So pause the video, solve the questions on your own, and you can come back to watch the video to check the answers with me. Okay, so here we go. So we need to read each question and color the bubble beside the correct answer. Number one, it says, why did mother and the cub leave the den? Yeah, why did they leave the den, remember? So this is their den over here. It was time to hunt for something to eat, or it was hot in the den. Ding, 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 the first one, right? It was time to hunt for something to eat. That's why they left their den. So uh, fill in the bubble right here. <clears throat> Number two, what makes you think so? Yeah, why do you think they left the, the den to hunt for something to eat? Is it because she hunted for grubs or she curled up in the shade of a tree? Right, she hunted for grubs. Did the cub get to eat grubs? No, because um, he tumbled over a stone and the cubs, I mean the grubs, um, get away. So he didn't get to eat any grubs, but the mother bear did. Yeah, so fill in the bubble, the first one here. Number three, what was black and white? Ooh, remember the cub found something black and white. What was it? Yes, it was a skunk. So fill in the bubble. Okay, and um, bobcat? What's a bobcat? <clears throat> so they look like a cat, but they are bigger. And they're very fierce, wild animal. I think they're also called like mountain lions. You know, it's a very dangerous, um, very fierce animal. Number four, what makes you think so? It would make the cub's fur smell bad. It had spots on its fur. Yeah, remember what um, the mother bear told the cub? Don't go near the skunk. It's going to make your fur smell bad. Yeah, so the first one. Number five, who put the trap by the tree? Yeah, remember this chain? And the cub thought it was something sweet. <laughs> and so he asked his mother. But the mother told him, it's going to hurt you. So do not go near there. Yeah, who put the trap by the tree? A hunter put the trap by the tree, or a cub put the trap by the tree. Of course, it's a hunter um, put the trap by the tree. Fill in the bubble here. What makes you think so? The cub likes traps. No way. Some hunters like to trap. Yes. Some hunters, they like to trap so that they can get, you know, hunt, catch the animals. Fill in the bubble here, but it's so... Um, such, you know, I think, bad and, you know, sad way to catch animals. But yeah, now the cub knows that he needs to be careful with the traps, um, these chains. Number seven, did mother ever give something sweet to the cub? No, she didn't. Yes, she did. What do you think? Did mother ever give something sweet to the cub? By the end of the story. Yes, she did. What makes you think so? She let it drip on the cub's nose. She held the cub up into the tree. Right, she let it drip on the cub's nose, right? Because the tree was too big for the cub to climb up, right? So she let it drip on the cub's nose. There you go. When you're done with the first page, move on to the next page. Sweet treat. You're going to circle the words that mean something sweet. Is cake something sweet? Yes. Chips something sweet? Um, no, not so much. No, uh, it's mostly salty, right? Candies? Yes. Crackers? No. Eggs? Is it something sweet? Nope. Fish? Nope. Jam? Yes. Cupcakes? Yes. Gumdrop? Yes. You know those gumballs? Gumdrop? Yes, there's something sweet. Okay, 
Now, when you have circled everything that's sweet, now move on to the bottom of this page. You're going to draw a picture of your favorite dessert. Oh, this is such fun activity.、Mm. If you love cupcakes, go ahead and draw、um, the world's best cupcake. If you like cakes, go ahead and draw that. If you like、um, candies, candies. Chocolate, draw chocolate. Or gumballs, draw gumballs. Anything that you like,、um, your favorite dessert of all time, just draw a picture of that. Then you will be done. If it's honey, just like the bears, <laughs> you can draw honey.、Um, I think for me, Miss Jin will probably draw cupcakes. Yeah, chocolate cupcakes with vanilla frosting on top. I think. So go ahead and draw your favorite dessert, and you will be done. And I hope you really enjoyed the story, because I really did、um, like the story. And if you'd like to read the story on your own,、um, silently, go ahead and do that. And Miss Jin will be back with another reading lesson next time. Have a great day, first graders, and I'll see you later. Bye.